Lamentations 5, verse 14. So welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Olichi. If you don't already know that, that means you're new to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to become a member of the Gucci Gang family because we are growing, glowing. It is forever. <laughs> Guys, what's up? Oh my god, I feel like it has been forever since I actually like sat and talked today with you guys. So today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a three in one chit chat get ready with me i'm giving you guys a life update it's like i've been gone mia for like almost two years now i only feel like it's right well actually <laughs> my friends and everybody else around me added myself a, a little bit included I feel like it's right to let you guys know why i was gone for so long so this video i'm just going to be updating you guys while i get ready for a nigerian wedding here in dallas so, um, if you guys want to see how I put this video together, please keep on watching. I haven't, I haven't talked on a while, like in a while here, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but you know, we'll just bring it, okay? Um, so I'm gonna be using first the BioSilk um, Therapy Light, and I'm gonna just put it all around the hair. There should be like a review of this hair on my channel, maybe before this actual video goes up. And so I'll give you guys the tea on it, but it's from Arabella Hair. Um, so we're gonna use this on there, and then I think I'm just gonna, I just wanna do like wand curls. Right, so just with it. I to have some type of like sheen. So, you guys, what's up? How have you guys been? How's everything going? Um, this is, oh my god, I almost burnt my ear. Hold on, y'all, let me finish this. Jesus, that was so painful. All right, so how have you guys been doing? How is everything? How's your life treating you? What's been going on? Like, fill me in. Of course, I know you guys can't physically talk to me right now, but you guys can like comment down below and answer that question for me of just how you're doing. I really do want to know in general how everybody is doing. I know it's like the middle of 2022 and there's a lot that has happened. How's everyone's mental health? Like, how's everyone really doing? I, on the other hand, I am doing okay. A lot has happened. <laughs> A lot has happened. So I'll just fill you guys in at least from last year because I don't believe that I was here on YouTube at all last year. And I think last year was probably a very pivotal time in my life. It was very exciting. There's a lot that you know I did last year. Um, so I'm just gonna like give you like a, a rundown. At the start of last year, I was still at like my full time position. But towards the ending of January, that position was up. And at that time, you guys still know that, like, obviously, COVID was still a major thing um, as of like January 2021. And so I was able to do a travel contract. I did a travel contract in LA, and um, it was great. I mean, made good money, it was good weather, good vibes. I was working a lot, like, I was working like 60 hours, which is like five days. Um, obviously like coming from like Michigan at the time to like LA where the sun was shining, you know, in Michigan it was always so hot or not hot. I, what am I talking about? It was so cold and then LA was the arts the contrast and I love the heat. So yeah, that was that and I did that for about like two months, like a little short of two months, about like seven weeks. At the time I had already planned my um, 25th birthday party. So my 25th birthday party last year was in Houston. Um, it was really fun. Um, I had like 60 guests. My birthday party um, on my extra birthday. And then the next day I had like a brunch and like a launch for my uh, brand. If you guys don't know, I am the CEO. Oh my God, I'm so cute to say. <laughs> and owner of Candy Beauty. Um, it's just something that I've always like a business that I've honestly been trying to start for like the last like five years. Um, so I did a soft launch last year around my birthday because I um, invited my girls for like a picnic and then just like told them about my, my cause currently all we're selling is lashes and like obviously inventory is gonna grow hopefully. But um, so I did that last year. So it was pretty cool doing that. I felt like that was my first like major attempt of being like super public with what I was doing. Like obviously like, you know, you're doing like a new business venture. You want it to like do well, you don't, you want to succeed. And so sometimes it does get like a little like scary or intimidating. Um, I just put this clip here. I've never done this before, but I'm hoping that it'll work because I kind of don't want this like in my face. That happened and then 
Um, I got a puppy. Listen, I'm telling you, like, last year was wild. Last year was, like, it was a roller coaster of a year, but it was an amazing year. I was gifted a puppy for my birthday. Gucci, my baby Gucci. Let me see what we'll come. Gucci! Come here, baby. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Here, come here. They want to say hi to you. Come. Okay. Okay. So this is my baby, Gucci. He's really camera shy, y'all. He wants me to rub him. Spoiled too. But yes, this is my baby Gucci. My little precious. Oh. I got him when he was a little baby, y'all. He was only two months. And now he's about a year and five months. He's just a big boy. Ain't you a big boy? He's a little big boy. But he's like just the most precious little dog and my favorite. Favorite, favorite, like my best friend. And so during that period of time, there was just so much happening in my life in terms of like trying to decide like what's next, what I was gonna do. Um, you know, I was definitely battling like major depression last year. I didn't even realize that I was going through that. You know, like when it just like really engulfs you. At time, I have been praying about like, cause the year before, in 2020, I felt like in, around November, a nudge in my heart or my spirit, like I felt like God was saying like I needed to do something in Nigeria next year, like the next year be 2021. And so I have a pastor that I get pray with and stuff, and we had kind of like prayed about it. I wasn't sure what it was, but I knew it was something that um, had to do with being in some type of like, like not just going to Nigeria to like chill in Nigeria, but actually do something in Nigeria. But like God was pushing me towards like doing MBGN. And MBGN something, if you don't know what MBGN is, it is the most beautiful girl in Nigeria pageant. The winner of the most beautiful girl in Nigeria pageant is also known as Miss World Nigeria. And that is going to be Nigeria's representative at the Miss World pageant. So I felt like God was leading me to that. So, you know, I went ahead and applied. I think I applied about like May. And this was the first year too, because of obviously COVID, a lot of things were now digital, you know? So you were able to turn in an application online, send a video and like pretty much just just like wait you know they had obviously applied on their website as opposed to previous years like most of like their interview phases and like um, applications were done in person earlier in the year before I even applied I had like two of my friends Chigo and Favor reach out to me that was another like reason like how God was trying to like tell me that something I should do by like sending people to reaffirm what I was like had a made decision for yeah so while I was like preparing and stuff I was actively still working, like 60 hours on average, <clears throat> 48 to 60, and then, you know, occasional 36. But I was working a lot because I always had to save up money to do this. It was really such a stressful experience. And I think through that like whole thing while like working nights, doing like, you know, I was so overworked and stressed. I didn't realize that it started to like affect my mental health. And um, I was just in a dark space, y'all. Like most of my friends know me to be like ma a major optimist. As of that time, I was like the most pessimistic person you could meet. My mind was in the gutter. Like even my relationship with God was just suffering. And I don't, I don't think that I've ever been more depressed making money, but I was so like sad. Like, you know, like I was, I was making the most money that I'd ever made in my life, but like I wasn't happy, right? huge financial huge 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 financial commitment having to do that pageant especially coming from here and because i needed to work and i need to make money like i wasn't able to like just even take like okay let me be done and like use that because i felt like you know because with the exchange rate it made more sense for me to come like loaded um so that could keep me in case i had to stay there for a while june or july i went i went back to nigeria just for like a couple days and then literally went right back to work it was July. Yeah, it was July. Because after coming back from Nigeria, I caught COVID. I think I must have caught it like flying or traveling or something. <sighs> it was so frustrating for me because like, you know, I felt like as a nurse, I literally was working with COVID patients every day and I didn't catch COVID, you know? And then all of a sudden, boom, COVID. Uh, right after that, that's in like off from the first week of August, um, I went for UIU. That was my first time going for UIU's Umu Ibo Unai. I just wanted to network and connect with people. I met like, you know, a good bunch of people. It was a great experience, honestly. Um, met really like cool, great people. And then after that, I went back to Nigeria. 
really trying to take my puppy with me, y'all. Like, <laughs> I was so connected with Gucci and also with like having to do something like that big. I had given away all of my clothes, all of my furniture. Like I literally went back to Nigeria with four boxes, just four boxes, but I wanted to take my dog. That's all I wanted. <laughs> but I couldn't fly with him, unfortunately. There were just so many rules. My brother ended up keeping him. So as soon as I got to Nigeria, it was when I really understood how like depressed I had been in America. Bro, like, it was really bad. I was in such a dark space, but I had started like building back my relationship with God. I started like, you know, praying more and being more connected because one thing about Nigeria is like, there's so many like, it's a very spiritual place for lack of a better term. Um, there's just so many people that like, you know, I don't know, I just feel like the, the people there are more, more in touch with the spiritual realm of like, just, you know, religion is such a huge thing in Nigeria. Um, I go for a camp and um, it was really cool. It was about 10 day camp, you know, did well on the prelim. The day of the actual pageant, you know, I was, I was so ecstatic, right? I was very grateful. I was so like, I, if, if I tell you I was anxious, I would kind of be lying because like, I just felt like my experience just even leaving America and doing this in the first place. Like this had been a childhood dream. Like me and my, my dad had talked about it like before my kiki, like he passed. And so it was just like such an amazing, like, I was, I was high on life, literally, high on life. And so the big day came, your girl did her fine. And you are now looking at the official Miss World Nigeria 2021. I won, you guys, I actually won. It was surreal. It was surreal, y'all. It was, it was like everything. Imagine like, imagine like starting the year not really knowing where you're headed and then like you're having this huge climatic, climatic point in your life and now people know who you are, you know, you're making a name and way for yourself and your dreams, like your childhood dreams. Like I, I did think it was maybe possible for me to go back to do MBGN because I've always wanted to, but you know, living in America, doing all this stuff, I didn't think so. But you know, like once I started like contract nursing and travel nursing, I kind of could make a schedule like, you know, um, and so it was able to come back and then it was able to afford, you know, to come back and all that stuff. So it was just such a huge blessing. I remember like, you know, not really coming into Nigeria, not really knowing anybody like that. Like obviously I had, I went to like high school there, but like I didn't know anybody in the scene, you know, like the modeling or like pageantry industry or like, you know, any like major person in like politics or society and stuff. And people were like, oh, you need to know somebody to win. You can't just win. And like, actually like a little girl or a little nobody girl come up in there. Um, so it was just really awesome. And I remember like my final question when I started like speaking and like talking, uh, the crowd erupted. Like, it was like, I had like gotten other people's fans. Cause when I came there, I didn't feel like I, anybody wanted me to win. Obviously they had their favorites, but like by the end of the night, baby, by the end of the night, like everybody was like on team Belucci. I still can't believe it. Like, I really cannot believe it. Um, but yeah, that happened from the time I won in September till I left in November for Miss World in Puerto Rico. I was in Nigeria and I will tell you guys, I have never, ever felt as much peace and alignment like I did when I was in Nigeria. Like it felt like I was doing what like God had called me to do because I often like him even going to Nigeria was like listening to God, you know, like, I mean, I was taking a huge risk. Even when I told them, like, they used to call me the faith queen because I literally just picked up my bags and left, okay? Um, Nigeria felt so aligned, you know? I was doing a lot of charity work. I wasn't actively, like, even earning, but I was so, and I say that because the contract was, contrast was, like, I was in America earning, like, you know, travel nursing last year was making really good money. And I was earning like, really good money, but I was so depressed and I was so lost. And then in contrast of like, obviously I won a big title, but you know, I was in Nigeria and not actively earning because I was preparing for like Miss World. So, you know, I wasn't actively doing anything else. Um, and like just giving and doing so much because I'm a natural giver. So I felt like I was just in my element and my relationship with God was flourishing, y'all. You know? Like I had such an active relationship with God. It was such a beautiful experience. Um, and it was just surreal, like, you know, that peace. I've never felt that peace in my life. And I will give anything to be in alignment with like the will of God in my, my life.
Yeah, and then like Miss World happened, and that is a story for another day. So you guys should make sure you guys hit that notification bell. Subscribe to my channel so I can fill you in on my journey as Miss World Nigeria, my journey to Miss World, meeting such like amazing, amazing girls um, from all over the world. It was really an experience. One of those things I forgot to tell you, like, okay, um, also for my birthday, I sky skydived. I know this is such a random fact, but I felt like last year was a year of like many firsts and like many things that I never envisioned that I would be doing with my life or like, you know, in general. So it was a really amazing year altogether. So this year pretty much has just been me working, chilling between going back and forth between Nigeria uh, because I'm still currently writing Queen. This year though, I feel like Devney has tested like, you know, my mental health more than I thought it would. And just because I've, you know, there's been so many situations of like where I feel like I'm moving forward and then I fall the right back because I'm this kind of person that just wants to know what's next. And like after, a, like no cap, but after a year like last year, I just had such a difficult time like understanding where what was next for me. Like it almost felt like I did so much last year that I had nothing left to move forward from or to, and that has just been a roller coaster of emotions. You know, I started to be like pursue like my entrepreneurship side and like, you know, even like coming back and doing content creation, things that like my first loves and really, cause I feel like that's what one thing too last year taught me was like, you know, really following your heart and doing something that you, you love will make you, will give you like major satisfaction and it's, you're capable of achieving whatever you set your mind to. But yeah, um, so I'm done, all done with like just curling my hair. I'm gonna move forward to like doing my makeup. I still am a little bit, ahead of time, fingers crossed. So I'll do my makeup and then um, finish this out in the hair and then I'll show you guys my outfit. So you guys, I can't help but notice how like crazy my makeup process looks. Who else can actually relate because Ooh, and those brows, baby. Listen, I'm thinking of getting my eyebrows microbladed. I think y'all can all understand why, because I really don't have a tail and it is really irking me. But I mean, this process isn't like anything that, I feel like most people know how to do makeup now, right? So this, honestly, this portion is not really show you guys like my makeup style. Like actually not how I did the makeup, but more so like the makeup style, I guess. I don't, I really don't know. It's just part of the three in one, so enjoy, okay? Um, but yeah, my, no, the process definitely looks scary. Um, I've actually had a friend tell me that one time and like watching it back, it does look scary. But let me tell you what happens, y'all. That setting spray, it saves my life and it clearly did. And of course, a little bit of lip gloss and I will be popping. So this hair is brought to you courtesy of Arabella Hair. Um, I actually have a review on my channel, so I'm going to link that up in the cards. This dress was provided by my oh so amazing tailor in Nigeria. She actually is kind of like not so much of a name brand, like the big ones, but she be snatching my waist, okay? She has like taken my measurement one time, just one time, and that was like many years ago, and she just like slays. And this is her own design. I didn't even give her this style. She just did what she had to do, baby. And we are looking flawless. This is how I showed up to the wedding. And best believe, I was giving. Serving. And that's what we love to see. So your baby girl is looking like a snack at the end of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm super excited to celebrate love and celebrate my friends um, getting married. I've known them for almost the entire time of their actual relationship. We actually went to college together. So, I mean, it's so like amazing to see people like have that like young love and then grow into like adulthood. I mean, they were always adults, you know, because they were in college, but it's just like nice to see that, you know, we didn't fall on the wayside and now they're actually going to be man wife. So I also really love that I choose to wear like the Nigerian outfit, like uh, in power prints. Um, it's no white wedding, but still, I'm still doing So with that being said, 
Go ahead and leave me some comments, some likes. Let me know how you're feeling this look. Talk to me about how you are doing. How's everything been? Give me your update. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Stay beautiful, choose beauty, and God bless you.